Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am so glad you guys are here. It has been a really busy week and a half at least, and we have really been on the go a lot, so I figured I need to do a day in the life video, and that's probably the only type of video I can get out this week. This is the last week of just pure craziness and running around and kids' dentist appointments and, and my own today, actually, after I dropped some eggs off to a local in town, I am running down the hill we did get the beginning of our school done. I am going to have to finish when I get back, but I have a dentist appointment an hour away and the appointment ended up lasting about an hour. And then after that, I grabbed some lunch and I ran some errands. I had to swap out some shoes. I got my daughter. They were a little too big. And then I did a small Walmart haul. I ended up doing a last minute Sam's Club haul, which wasn't really planned or thought out much, but I did get that while I was down there as well. And then by the time I got home, it was like 3:30, so a good chunk of my day disappeared you know it's an hour away over an hour at the appointment driving around back and forth and then an hour back so it I got a late start to today but in this video I'm gonna share with you guys a viewer had asked for my chili recipe a long time ago and I just have not really thought of filming every time I've made it so I did do that today we did a sweet and spicy chili that's one of our favorites so I'm gonna share that with you guys and I'm also gonna share a really quick Easter treat I know it's really last minute but I'm gonna share a really easy Easter treat in this video because I need to hold my kids over for dinner so I ended up making it to kind of hold them over while I put groceries away and had dinner cooking so I'm gonna share those recipes with you guys and then just get caught up on some to-dos around the home and yeah I'm gonna take you guys along for my day Right, you guys it is now 345 <laughs> it's 3 345 it's crazy I don't even know my whole day is gone I have some school to wrap up I'm gonna wrap up some history and then I need to swap some laundry and you check our I'm incubating turkey eggs and my kids called and they're like mom the humidity is below 50 and I don't know why but anyway I gotta go mess with that and get the humidity back up for the turkey eggs because they're higher humidity you know, go do some laundry, tons of things. I had a pressure can some chicken at some point. I'm going to take you guys along and share a chili recipe with you and a little Easter treat recipe that I'm going to be doing coming up here. We're probably going to have a later dinner because it's almost four. We usually eat around six, six thirty, but I'm trying to do that a little bit earlier now and change our time and our routine a little bit, especially with it staying lighter longer and just maybe doing an earlier dinner. So we have more time to do things later in the evening. So anyway, I'm going to take you guys along for this haul because I know a lot of you guys like grocery hauls out there. That's the feedback I've gotten when I've asked in the past. So I'm going to take you guys through this haul real quick and then we're going to get moving with the day. There's a lot to do. All right, I got some OxyClean that we were low on. I got two things of milk. I got this to stock back up in the pantry. Got some baby tomatoes to go with some salad for dinner, either tonight or tomorrow. Got some yellow onions. I had to run into Home Depot and get some starter soil for my seeds so I can start my seeds. And I did find these two plants and I really like them. And so I'm going to put them somewhere, probably one in our bathroom because we have really tall ceilings and some areas look naked <laughs> in the bathroom. So just these little fillers just to get some real plants. I always get like the fake plants mainly because we, uh, I don't like having fake plants in the house. I like having actual real ones, but with animals in the house, I mean like we have cats, like even that fake tree over there, <laughs> my cats eat the leaves off of it and it drives me nuts. I'm like, what is wrong with you guys? So I got to be really careful about what plants I bring into the house because they just destroy everything, unfortunately. But I did get these and they hang from the ceiling. So they can't, they can't destroy, <laughs> they can't destroy them. At least I don't think, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I got baby spinach, 
to throw in a salad and a smoothie. I got some organic salad down here. I have some celery. I've had soup bones from our cow. We got, oh gosh, in the freezer for a long time. And every time I buy celery and carrots to do like a stock, I, I never have the time to do it. And we just eat, end up eating them. So I'm like, this time I am getting that done. I got some mini cucumbers to go with lunches. I got some kiwi for the kids for our fruit because they love fruit. I have two things that Sam's Club now has, organic gala apples. I just got two, I don't know, what are they, five pound bags, something like that. I got two bags of some gala apples. And then the kids, I think I only bought chips once this year for like after church to go with sandwiches. And I'm just like, you know what, we, we do need, I really, I've done really, really, really well with staying away from packaged snacks. That was one of my goals this year. And I have not bought any packaged snacks other than like the cliff energy bars for the kids because they do like those. But I did get that for them just as a little treat to switch lunches up. I got my carrots. I said, I got two bags of broccoli. I'm probably going to do a broccoli salad with these. I haven't done that for a long time. I got animal crackers mainly for my goats, <laughs> but the kids before I just sent them outside because I just got home, they need to burn off some energy <laughs> much needed. And it's actually kind of nice out right now. So, I mean, it's not horrible out. It was definitely warmer down in Loveland, but yeah, it's the snow's melting a little bit. We weren't even supposed to get as much snow as we did we just got like another six inches the other night so that came out of nowhere but anyway I sent them out with some of the animal crackers they asked for some and then I got a thing of some sweet potatoes two things of strawberries I'm probably gonna do some sh homemade strawberry shortcakes with these I've not done cereal other than that puffed azure cereal and I'm gonna be honest my kids did not care for it they'll eat it but they did not care for it and I tried it and I'm like yeah it's different <laughs> but it, it wasn't horrible and we still actually have some of it and we don't do cereal often but to switch things up. I got some honey bunches of oats and for like quick mornings and they asked for this. So I got them cinnamon toast crunch. I know there's so much garbage in the foods and I'm just, I'm very picky about stuff like this, but I did. I was like, you know what? Yeah, we can, we can do that. I did get two things of orange juice for this weekend. I'm going to do some biscuits and gravy Saturday. And I usually save orange juice now just for like the weekend breakfast when my husband's actually around. Um, if he is around and not working. I got these at Walmart because the kids love these, the creamy tomato with panay soups. We have been out of these for a very long time and it's just something quick if they're not feeling good. They, they like doing this from time to time with lunch. Sometimes I'll do a grilled ham and cheese for lunch and have a little bowl of soup on the side for them. We were out of this. I really love this. The members mark bang bang, um, sweet and spicy seasoning. Love doing some chicken breast in the oven from time to time with this. It's really good. It's got the ingredients right here quarter cup mayo one tablespoon seasoning it's really good and the kids love it and we love it I got some bell peppers this week and I also want to do a Denver casserole I don't know about Easter I don't know we might do Easter I haven't even figured out Easter breakfast I might just do cinnamon rolls I don't know my birthday actually Easter falls on my birthday this year so my birthday is on Easter this year and that happened I think one other time when I was really little that Easter fell on my birthday so anyway I don't know I guess it depends what I feel like making on Sunday I haven't decided yet I might do cinnamon rolls I don't know and then I got some of these mini peppers. The kids like to have, I always do like a vegetable with a ranch or some fruit on the side with lunch. So that's just to switch it up. These were supposed to be really pretty Easter lilies and they must've ran out or something. <laughs> Part of doing pickup orders, you, you get what you get and you know, don't whine about it because you're not the one going and picking it out. So this is what he gave me. And I'm like, well, you know what? It's better than nothing. So Yes, buddy. Okay. So anyway, they were supposed to have like big Easter lilies and be springy Easter looking flowers, but I'm fine with those. That's fine. Just something to put in a vase and make it feel a little bit like spring here because we're, we're so far from spring still. I mean, it snows up to June, so I'm just like over it at this point. I got these brownie bite things. I'm not sure if they're still good. This one doesn't have a date on the bottom, but it looks really faded and it looks like a three. That has to be a three. I mean, because that's not an eight. If that was an eight, then like, I don't even want to know the preservatives in these, but I think it's March 19th and today is, what is today? It's the 26th. It's the 26th. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if these are still good, but I did just get these. So we're doing a little treat. I'm going to share it in the video. Just a quick little Easter treat. Hold the kids over till I make dinner. I did get these two Wright brand hickory smoked bacon. We love these. I remember back during the pandemic, it was like up to $30 for these. It was like 29 and change. 
And then the last time I bought these, they were down to $13. So they fluctuated back and forth, but now it's like back up to 19 something. So I grabbed two in case it's like back up to 20 something at some point the next time I go to buy it. So, oh, well, I mean, it, it already was about 20 bucks each, but I'm just so over the inflation. But yeah, so that's back up to like $19. Last time it was $13. So whatever. But I do like this. I do like doing this on the weekends if Mike is home to have breakfast with us. I got the girls, two of my girls have braces still. So I got them their threader flossers. And then I have, this was so weird. <laughs> I have not bought eggs since 2019. So it's been like five years since we bought chickens. I'm like, we're never buying eggs. Like I just can't justify that, especially with the cost of feed. It's hundreds a month. And it's just like, I'm not buying eggs, but we don't do, I don't know. I'm not really huge with Eastery stuff. I don't know. I don't know. We really just focus on the meaning of Easter and like why we celebrate it. But I did get these because these are easier than farm fresh eggs to hard boil. Yes, you can hard boil, but I do sell my eggs also. So I'd rather just buy some cheapies at the store. And I don't think our little boys got to color eggs before. I know our girls have maybe my two older sons, but the three littles haven't. So I did get some little Easter dyeing kits for them to do just to do something a little fun and then these go with one of the treats that i'm going to be doing in this video these were at kohl's like i mentioned i have this little hobby lobby plant over there and i've had it for years and i just that's how i decorate my house i just shuffle around things i have already bought buy it I, that just looks dumb to me <laughs> it's so short so i'm like you know what and i love the color yellow it's really hard with a log house to like find decor that actually looks like it belongs in a log house it's much different to decorate um, that's for sure, especially with like all the farmhousey stuff nowadays. It's like, I, I really am over the whites and grays and <laughs> they don't look good in my house, but I do like the yellow. I know reds and orange look good. Like on the coffee table over there, I have some yellow sunflowers that looks really good in a log house, but I'm like, I think the yellow will brighten things up and it'll look nice. So I did get that to shove over there. And if it doesn't look good over there, I'll shove it somewhere else. But <laughs> anyway, I did get some jelly beans. I have my niece and nephew their Easter stuff I got to pack up and I'm probably going to do some little eggs with some jelly beans in it and then maybe just a little Easter egg hunt for the littles. So I got a, not anything huge, but I got a thing of candy. I did get this once again to just switch up lunches a little bit and have something quick for on the go. So I got the kids some veggie straws. It's been like ages since they had those. And then I got two things of red seedless grapes to snack on. I got some bananas to go in my protein shakes and my three little boys love bananas. So got that, got an Easter card for my niece that I need to send out with her package either. I don't know, probably tomorrow. And then I got a jug of distilled water that I need. I got this because ours broke. Actually, it's a two gallon pitcher. It's only like 13 bucks at Walmart and I absolutely love ours. But last night I made sweet tea and whoever set it down in the, um, in the kitchen sink, like put it down a little too hard and the whole corner cracked out completely. So I'm like, eh, I'm going to have to buy another one, but I absolutely love this. And with 10 people in the family, like we usually use like all the way to the top down to here in one sitting. If we have like a cup, some people, you know, have two cups, but anyway, whatever. It's just easier to do two pitchers at a time into something, a dispenser like this than a regular pitcher. And it's glass. All my other pitchers I found are plastic. So I do like to use that. Nutella on the go snacks. And then I got some Propel Fitness Water. I really like these a lot better than Gatorade. They're not as sugary. And I do like to keep this on hand. Our dogs have dry food, but when we run low, it's nice to have backup on hand. Or sometimes they just don't want to eat their food and we just dump a little bit on top. And then I have my almond milk so I can get back to making my protein shakes because we've been out and my kids go through a ton of milk. And yeah. <laughs> they go through a ton of milk. So I try to avoid using regular milk and I just try to stick to almond milk. But anyway, that is the haul. Now in the pantry video I did about a year ago, I have an updated one coming up any day now, hopefully. I just need to finish some editing. But when I did my pantry tour, that a lot of people noticed dates on my items and they asked what they were. And I always put the best by date. I know things can go well past the best by date, but when I'm cycling through my pantry, it marking the best by dates on things, it helps show me 
what product needs to be used up first. So that's part of why I do it. Yes, it does go past the date, but I try to make sure it doesn't even reach the date and that I know which order to use things in the pantry. And it also shows me what items maybe I really don't need in my pantry if something's sitting there and I'm like, I haven't used this once. And, and um, it helps me realize what maybe not to buy, what doesn't work for our family. And if things are still within date to maybe just donate it if it's not something that we use often. I did get this rug I totally forgot at Kohl's because I had a rug a long time ago in my kitchen in front of the sink and I don't know I put it through the washing machine because it said it was machine washable and it clearly was not the whole back got ruined and peeled but it's it looks really empty so I found a rug at Kohl's they had a runner like that and I was thinking this was wide enough for my sink but I don't think it is so I might pop this in front of either this stove or that stove and get the runner but it is a little bit narrow but not horrible anyway i had a long night ahead of me i am going to my kids are hungry and because the meat is just not thawed yet i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this super quick easy little easter treat they're hungry and i usually don't get them anything before dinner but because we still have a little while to go it's probably gonna be like a 6 30 dinner I'm going to go ahead and show you this little treat. All right, my lighting is going to suck because I don't have a light on my tripod. I have an additional light. I actually need to put my hair back. I have an additional light, but I don't have that right now. And that has to plug into a laptop or a outlet box. And I don't have the outlet box for it. So I will get that set up as the night goes on. For convenience sake, I never buy these because I really think they're gross. But I just bought some icing in here for the convenience and easiness of this for the video. I would probably just make my own. These do not have the best ingredients in it these days. I feel like everything is bioengineered or something and I'm not a fan of this, but this is a super easy treat that you can do for a couple bucks and you just buy the brownie bites. They have these at like Safeway, pretty much any grocery store and they're just little um, two bite brownies is what this one's called, but just little petite brownies and then you get some icing And I got my icing I decided to put in a piping bag You can just smear it on with a knife or something on oh, my lighting All right, I had to get my light. I had to find it because it was just way too dark and it's still even shadowed So all you're going to do is line up your brownies. You can make these yourself But once again, this is just a super simple quick no mess, basically no mess treat. So I have my brownies here. I just used a 2A Wilton tip. You don't even need to use a tip, but I'm just going to start in the middle and kind of swirl out around the edge. And then what I'm going to do is just put right in the middle a yellow flat or a yellow <laughs> A little yellow M&M and then you can just go around and it's just like a little flower decoration but really easy spring it doesn't even necessarily have to be Easter but little spring treat that you can make super quick to whip up especially if you just buy everything from the store no mess and just a really quick simple treat and that's what it will look like. So that is what I'm going to make right now for my kids. Like I said, super simple, easy treat, really no time at all to put together. Just something really cute for this spring. 
and I just happened to make enough for her, one for each of my kids and one for me. For this chili recipe I'm going to share with you guys, I figure I might as well get dinner going on the stovetop before we jump into history. It just makes sense. So what I am going to do is I'm going to double this. Sometimes I actually quadruple it and I'll freeze two gallon sized bags and pop it in the freezer because it thaws beautifully. But tonight I'm just going to double it. So doubling it is enough for our family. I don't know what that was. It's a little chaotic here right now. <laughs> it's been a long day. Anyway, so because I'm doubling it, what I'm going to do is chop up two small onions. Usually I would use one large onion, but I only have two small onions that I need to use up right now that were in there before the new bag of onions I got. So I am just going to get these chopped up. At this time, I am going to mince four garlic cloves. I'm now going to add two pounds of ground beef to my hot cast iron skillet. And once I have the ground beef broken up a little bit, I am going to add the chopped onion and the minced garlic and just cook this until it browns up. Once it's browned, I'm going to add about three to four tablespoons of some brown sugar to this. And I'm also going to be adding in two teaspoons of smoked paprika. I'm going to also add in one and a half teaspoons of salt. You can use regular table salt or sea salt. I'm going to also add one teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of ground cumin. and half a teaspoon of some ground cayenne pepper. I am also going to be adding six tablespoons of some ground chili powder. You can adjust this according to your taste, but this is the perfect amount for us. I'm going to mix this up before I add in my other ingredients and just get the seasons well blended. Now that the seasonings are well blended, I'm going to add about 30 ounces of some canned tomato sauce. And I'm going to follow this with 30 ounces of baked beans that are canned. Now, I personally love the Bush's Grillin' Beans, the brown sugar and bourbon flavored ones. They, they just really help with this sweet and spicy mix. So the bourbon and brown sugar is the type that I choose to add in to this. And then I'm going to follow it up with two 15 ounce cans of black beans that I drained and I rinsed. I am mixing it together and then this can just simmer on low. You can simmer it for half an hour to an hour. 
I like to personally let it at least simmer for an hour to get the flavors really blended together. You can also throw this in a slow cooker and let it simmer and cook all day long if you'd like to. Of course, with chili, the longer it simmers, the more flavorful it is. But tonight, I'm just letting this simmer for about an hour because I have some buttermilk cornbread that I wanna make with this and I'm going to get that whipped up as well. If you guys want this recipe, I have already done a video on this. I'm gonna link it in the description down below, but I'm just milling up some dry corn that I have. You can buy already ready to go store-bought cornmeal. It works the same. <laughs> and that is what I'm doing right here. So I will put the link in the description box below if you want to make this. It is so delicious. It is almost like a dessert. It's just, it's the it's the perfect cornbread to go with any chili recipe. One tip that I'm gonna share is the easiest way to keep up with your house and keep things easy to maintain is clean as you go. And that's one thing I always try to do while I'm cooking dinner or prepping any meal in the kitchen is just cleaning as I go. So while this is simmering and I'm getting the cornbread into the oven, I'm just going to go clear off the rest of the countertops and kind of get things wiped down, load up the dishwasher and just make sure it's it's maintainable and manageable so after dinner there's not that many chores that have to be done and I can get on with the day. All right, it is about seven o'clock now. Um, the cornbread is in the oven for like 28 minutes. We have to do our history. Mike's gonna be working at his office, thank God, for a while, um, doing some paperwork and some billing from all the crazy plowing that we've had happening, but that gives me a chance to get upstairs and get our bed made and get our room together. You know, so it's not like, what do you do all day? Because, you know. Those are fighting words. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, the bed has to get made. The bathroom's clean. I already picked my mess up this morning when I was getting ready. But I do need to get upstairs. I'm hoping to get a workout in tonight. We'll see. It's beautiful outside. I just want to go outside right now. It's actually like probably 30 degrees. But it's just like I'm looking at the background and it's just, it's so nice out. It's so nice out. But um, looking at my list. Okay, so I got the Erin Condren planner like I always do this year. And I hate, I hate it, you guys. I hate it. I hate it because the layout that I usually get is like the block type. It's got the three sections. And so it's like one square is like, well, I guess it's kind of like a rectangle, not a square. But one square is like your first half of your day. And then the second is the middle of the day. And then the third is the evening. This year, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get hourly why i don't know it's stupid i didn't realize it goes from 6 a.m to 7 p.m my night goes to like midnight and i'm just i don't know it's it's really hard it's not practical for me i just can't wait till it's done but i need to use it because i spent money on it but it's hourly and it's like okay from six to seven there's like i'm i'm not up at the crack of dawn because i'm actually usually going to bed at the crack of dawn but Usually by like seven, I have stuff going on in my morning, but yeah, we, I'm going through everything we did and I do need to finish. I do need to finish quite a few things. I didn't know how long I'd be at the dentist or getting groceries. I had myself being home at one, which I clearly was not home at one. So the chili is about done. Cornbread's going to be done soon. Boys, my boys are restless. But I'd send them outside to play, but we have had a huge mountain lion in the area, like huge. I'll insert a picture here if I can, or if I remember to, but Mike basically caught video footage of an elk kill. I'll actually try to put the video in and show some images too, but yeah, that thing's roaming around and it's huge and the bears are awake. So yay, I can't send kids outside. 
unfortunately. But this in particular is a is a really big mountain lion and we have a lot of them in the area. We have a den actually right down the road from us, which is not great when you have animals outside and kids that play outside, but Needless to say, this is a huge mountain lion. And of course, I always go for the internal organs first, which is what this one did. It ripped the stomach open on the elk. And then it tries covering it, which this is not a really big area with brush or sticks and things like that debris to cover the kill. So over the next day or two, it ended up dragging it into some brush in the area and drew quite a lot of onlookers. <laughs> of course, locals figured out that there was a mountain lion kill here not far from the ranch that we live near. So anyway, yeah, um, it was a little nerve wracking to see this cat this big, but they are out. But anyway, Joshua, he's wrestling with the dog on the couch. So I basically didn't give myself a lot to do today other than, um, pressure canning chicken breast, which I have to do because it's thawed. So we're going to get some school in for the day. This video is going to be a lot lengthier, but I don't. It's just a big couch potato these days. And these guys that aren't supposed to be on the couch are too. Aren't you guys? Yeah. It's quiet till I open the back door. It's absolutely beautiful out. It's so hot inside from the ovens and the stoves going. So I figured I'd just step outside for a minute and it is just that fresh mountain air, just breathing it in is so good for you. And all the animals are in for the night. And the bees have actually, there's the bee shed up there. The bees have actually been out quite a bit on the nice days, which is perfect. That's what we want. And they're doing good. I didn't tell you guys, you know, I'll do an update video on that about, about our other colony of bees, but these guys thrived during the winter. Praise God. I probably should put out some sugar water. It's still really cold, but on the deck, you can give the doggies a treat. Yes. <laughs> Joshua's obsessed with our dogs. If you haven't been able to tell, he's my youngest. And he's, I think he's trying to lock me out. But anyway, the bees are out and about on the nice days when it's about 45, 50 degrees. So super happy to see them. That's always like the best sight. Haven't gotten into their hive yet because it really hasn't been warm enough. But I cannot wait to see what is going on in there and to extract some honey this fall. Of course, I cut this short, but we did do a ton of homeschooling and got that done. Dinner's about ready, so I am just swapping the laundry. We ended up switching those parts and replacing the washer parts, and it worked well for like a little over a week, and then one of the other parts started failing, and it's absolutely ridiculous. This washer and dryer is only five years old. We bought it when we moved in our house, so I am not sure what's going on, but we did buy that replacement part as well, and we're waiting on that. So I got completely caught up in the laundry from the washer parts breaking the first time 
in this video and then immediately after i got caught up on laundry another part failed and i was like okay <laughs> so i am still currently trying to catch up on laundry right now but i was just swapping a load real quick before i got started on our dinner prep and getting food to the table I am just chopping up some toppings. I usually dump all our salad mix in a big salad bowl and put the toppings on top, but I feel like they never get distributed evenly enough. So I have this platter that came with our dish set that we have, and I don't really have a ton of uses for it, but I, this is what I always do now when I make our salad because I do love so many toppings on it. I just kind of spread it all out and then make the salads individually and put the toppings on top. So that has been working great and it definitely is much simpler to distribute the toppings evenly onto people's salads and especially the pickier eaters who maybe don't like tomato or peppers or whatever I decide to throw on top. So I have found that this has worked great and this is the way I do our salads just in case you're wondering. This cornbread is so thick. It comes out perfect all the time. And I did use, I think I used, what was it? Two chicken eggs, two duck eggs. I did mix it, but I finding with the duck eggs, it definitely makes a significant difference when baking things. It just fluffs everything up so nicely. And I absolutely love doing my baking with our duck eggs. I have Mike's food set aside. Now to finish and wrap up my night. I don't know why I grabbed a hammer. I need to get this hook in, but Mike says he has a tool to do it when he gets back. But I got this today at Home Depot, the Lace Ivy. And I think I'm going to be hanging it right up here in this beam. Just because this corner looks really empty. We used to have a tree here, but we moved it down to the living room. So I think it'll look really good here. This is just kind of where the bathtub is. And yeah, it just looks a little bit empty in that corner. So I think it'll look nice as it grows. And it kind of spreads out a little bit, especially with the sunlight from this window. So it'll definitely look a lot better than it does now. 
My goal every morning when I wake up is to make the bed and just tidy up the bedroom and the bathroom because to be quite honest, I'm on the main floor all day. I am homeschooling the kids, I'm cooking in the kitchen, I am outside with the animals, and I don't usually come back up here until the end of the day. So on days like today where I'm gone and that just doesn't happen, that's what I'm doing right now is just trying to tidy and freshen up the bedroom so it's a little bit more relaxing at the end of the day to come up to a clean area in the home that's stress-free and clutter-free and I can just unwind and go to bed. Plus, Mike is close to being on his way home from work right now and I know he's going to want to just shower and go right to bed. So just getting the room ready for him. So it's just peaceful and he's able to unwind after a long day at work is important to me to try and just keep this area of the home as relaxing as possible. What I like to do and try to aim to do at the end of each evening, whether I've stuck to my cleaning routine that day or not, is I like to close the house down. So in the evening, basically when everyone's in bed, I'm always the last to go to bed. But what I like to do is kind of just get the house back to a clean slate, especially the main floor. That's really my main concern is the living room, dining room, kitchen, and laundry room. And it it really helps prevent me from getting really overwhelmed in the morning. I think the worst way to start the morning is a messy kitchen or a sink full of dishes or unfinished laundry and cluttered counters. It just drives me nuts. So I at least try to focus on the living room. I always start with the living room and it's usually pretty tidy. The kids don't really bring a bunch of toys out here during the day. And if they do, they put them away at the end of the night. So I just fix up the couch and the dogs are done playing with dog bones and toys at this time. So I'll tidy that up too, fix the blankets. If a window is really gross and has a bunch of fingerprints, I'm not going to wait till the next day. I'm just going to clean it while I see it because I'm probably not going to have time the next day or remember to. And then if the coffee table is like sticky or something, I will wipe that up as well. I have found, especially since being a stay-at-home homeschooling mom for the past, oh geez, the past decade at least, 11 years almost, I have found that just living in the house all day with kids, it, it your home can really easily become disheveled. And I think just stick into this nightly routine habit, it, it kind of helps you just reset your home and it's easier to keep clean spaces organized and tidy. It's very easily, it's very easy to have clutter accumulate if you already have a messy area to start with. And I feel it's just much more easier to become overwhelmed and not have a great start to the day if these areas are not closed down and tidied up. So that is a nightly routine that I do try to stick to just to stay on top of all the household chores. So at this point, I am making our bread. That's the final thing I'm doing right now. I will leave in the description link down below my recipe for this. This is pretty much our daily bread. I switch it up. I do the mill and I mill wheat berries for one of our daily sandwich breads, but this one my kids like the most. So this is just regular all-purpose flour and it's just absolutely delicious. I use the Pullman pans and I will leave that recipe down below. I do have a video on it. So 
if I can make breakfast or prep it ahead of time the night before and pop it in the fridge so it's ready to go in the oven the next day, or even just make pancake batter and pop it in the fridge. It's a bunch of less steps that I need to do first thing in the morning. And I am not a morning person. Some people function better in the mornings, not me. I am much more productive at night, which is why I do this at night. If I got to clean up and tidy up anyway, I just make my mess in the kitchen. That is my final area I clean before I go to bed. And I always try to make sure we have sandwich bread because more than likely I'm not going to make it in the morning and we're just going to have something on the fly for lunch and not much of a plan. So I am going to get this dough rising and then hop in the shower and pop the bread in the oven. It is really late at this point, but I'm doing some reading upstairs while I'm waiting for timers to go off. But this way we have our sandwich bread for the next day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you stuck around this long, thank you. And things don't always go as planned. Like I said, this is not, <laughs> not the ideal video that I would do, but this is literally a pretty full day in the life with me and the next video that I hope to have out is going to be our pantry now that we have the shelving project finished and we added some more space in there so that will be up shortly I hope you guys have a great Easter weekend and that you all have a wonderful time with friends and family I will see you on the next video until then take care and God bless